<laughs> and sometimes they even go beyond. The thought of your loved ones who may get screwed is terrifying, as are many of the scenarios in the show. The most screwed up episode, though, has to be knock it off. In this episode, the professional roommate, Dick Hardly, tries to take Professor Success by making his own Carpuff Girls and sell them around the world to make a quick buck. Many of these Carpuff Girls are faulty, even to the point of being falling off. They look good at first, but as the episode goes on, they look more and more difficult. Together. Yeah. Forced to fuse. This is wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, Garnet! You're coming undone! Garnet! A couple of earlier episodes. Twisted Sister Game 1, where, feeling that they've got too much work, the girls create a fourth car pop girl, who, while they were, is still just as edgy as the girls. Along those lines, there's also the Rowdy Rough Boys. Show and has aged fairly well despite its odd concepts. 
But there are some things you shouldn't put in the oh, kid's show. Having your feet cut off and getting by someone is one of those things. When Mrs. Bighead feels like she isn't getting enough attention from her husband, and she tries to subdue well, Rocco, who is completely innocent to the whole situation, even when she makes him watch a nature documentary about the yeah. habits of frogs. This episode actually starts out innocently enough until about halfway through the episode. To the chiropractor! <laughs> Away! <laughs> Fighting a rogue scattery of villains like the sinister slug, the atomic flounder, and the dreaded jumbo shrimp. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy unite! <laughs> Nobody's in there, Joe. Aw, uh, I wait forever on those life-size Krabby Patty mannequins of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. For these life-size Krabby Patty mannequins of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Hey, Spring Boob Squirepin stole my idea. <laughs> Awkward vibe. Mr. Bighead uses this as a wake up call to do some freaky shit. My human shield wipers are right here! Don't touch that button, it's the. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, gummy butt. Bighead uses this as a wake up call to do some freaky shit. End the episode! The plot is over! E end the episode! Uh, end it now! Alright. Oh, jingle bells, living as snails, barnacle boy laying an egg. The dirty bubble popped and the mermaid man and the barnacle boy and SpongeBob got away. Watch out. Oh! <laughs>